So you might be asking yourself why do I have a close up of an arm with goosebumps on it? So let me tell you why. Today I'll be helping you understand the concept of negative feedback loop and give you some examples of it. So goosebumps occur when we're cold. So like let's say when we're outside, we're walking and it's very cold, there's a lot of wind, you start feeling these little bumps on your arms and your legs. So what what is that? So let me tell you, the neurons communicate with the brain, muscles are activated, more specifically the smooth muscles, which will cause goosebumps. So blood vessels dilate and more blood flow will occur, which will ultimately bring back our body temperature at the desired level, at, back at the homeostatic level. So before I continue, let me tell you the definition of negative feedback. Negative feedback is a change in homeostatically controlled factor triggers a response that seeks to maintain homeostasis by moving the factor in the opposite direction of its initial change. That is, a corrective adjustment opposes the original deviation from the homeostatic steady state. So, let me give you another example. So this one I actually learned in class this semester, and it's the example of a fish in its fish tank and the water temperature is actually decreasing. So, if a certain parameter drops, then we have a way of measuring the temperature. And the thermometer suggests dropping of temperature which will activate the control box. This is about correcting the change. We have this in our body and since we need, since we need to keep the body at a constant homeostatic level. So in this example, so the thermometer reads that the water temperature is actually decreasing. So the thermometer sends signals to the control box via through a wire and the control box actually activates the heater which will actually heat up the water back to its normal resting state so normal meaning back to its normal functioning uh normal temperature normal homeostatic temperature so i hope you learned a little something and it was a pleasure giving you examples about negative feedback